Good morning, kids. We are excited to be with you again in our online AKM class today. We are still in the series called HEAL, which stands for Hope, Encouragement, Aspiration, and Love. The title of our third talk is Aspiration. My name is Teacher Grace from Feast PICC AM Session. We pray that you are all safe at home with your family and looking forward to hearing our new lesson today. Can you follow us on Facebook so we can bring our AKM class into your homes? Let us call Teacher Stacy to lead the opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father in heaven, we open ourselves to you this day, and we thank you for all the love you have given us. We surrender everything into your loving hands, all of our problems, our worries. May your Holy Spirit fill our hearts today with love and our minds with wisdom. Oh Jesus, please be with us right here at this moment. And may we hear what you want us to hear today. Speak to us in a powerful way. And all of this, Father, we surrender to you. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us now call Martin to pray the Novena to God's love. Everyone, let's all pray the Novena to God's love in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I'm God's beloved, I'm God's servant, and I'm God's powerful champion. And because I'm blessed, I'm blessed in the world. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Martin. God's timing is never too late. This is our big message for today. Everything that happens, happens at the time God chooses. In God's timing, God is never early. He is never late. He is just on time. For everything, there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. This is taken from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. God's timing is perfect. When you are eagerly praying to God and nothing is happening, it does not always mean that the answer is no. It can be that God is preparing you and will receive what you ask for when you are ready. But for now, you will have to wait. Just be careful that as you wait for what you have been praying for, you should not allow anxiety, frustration, discouragement to get into you. Trust in God completely. Let us call Teacher Ray to discuss further. Live and treasure each moment, for every day is a present from God. Keep this in mind and find joy, even in the simple things, like connecting with a relative or a friend through video call. Having an attitude of gratitude will attract more blessings towards you. Today, we still continue to focus on the story that happened along the way to Jairus' house. A woman in the crowd had suffered for 12 years with constant bleeding. She had suffered a great deal for 12 years. She had heard about Jesus, so she came up behind him through the crowd and touched his robe. For she thought to herself, If I can just touch his robe, I will be healed. Immediately, the bleeding stopped, and she could feel in her body that she had been healed of her terrible condition. We are like the bleeding woman in the story. We feel in our heart that God is calling to us to do something but we lack the courage to do it. This can be a major decision that can change your life. Lift up your situation to God through prayer. Do it afraid. Trust that God is in control. We are living in a difficult time. We all feel the effect of the pandemic, that no one knows when it will end. Instead of asking God on why there is COVID-19, why so many passed away and a lot are still suffering. As is stated in the book of Mark, chapter 5, verse 36, God said, Do not be afraid, just believe. Trust that God is in control. 
when we accept our dependency on God, He takes our desperation and changes it to hope. Let us call Teacher Grace to guide us in our activity. Good morning, awesome kids. I am Teacher Grace and I will be doing our activity with you. Today, we will be making a jar of prayers. We will be needing the following materials, three or more colored papers, pen or pencil, scissors, ruler, scotch tape, and an empty small jar. Let us start. First, cut a strip of colored paper long enough to be wrapped around the body of the jar. Next, on the cut strip of paper, write our key verse for the week. For everything, there is a season and a time of every matter under heaven. This is taken from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. Third step, tape this around the jar. Fourth step, get another piece of colored paper and cut a circle shape following the size of the cover of the jar. After which, write our big message on it. God's timing is never too late and tape it on the top of the cover. Step number five, cut at least five or six small squares shaped paper in different colors small enough to fit inside the jar. Sixth step, on those pieces of paper, write your prayers or aspirations as one of the moments. Step number seven, after which fold the paper squares and put them inside the jar. Step number eight, pray for this during your prayer time every day. Whenever there is an answered prayer, you may remove it from the jar and replace it with a new one. We would love to see you and your work. Do take a photo of you holding what you have made and post this in the comment section of our Facebook page. Always remember to have fun while learning. Stay safe and healthy everyone. See you next Sunday. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you God for this beautiful day. We consider this morning and the days to come. To be a special gift from you thank you also for the wonderful lesson discussed by our teachers dear god help us to treasure each moment that comes our way we lift all our worries and fears to you O oh lord please remind us every day that you are in control of everything we do not know when the pandemic will end, but we believe that you are always there to help us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.